what the name of these things are. Like, Yusefka was an alien all along. Did she ask me to bring in people so these alien things could experiment on humans? Or at least turn them into beasts? Fuck, I think I've... Well, I, I, I don't know if I've fucked up or not. I think I might have fucked up. I'm kind of scared. I already have one vial. I can't carry any more. If I head back... Um, if I head back to the rest and put this into my box... I'm guessing this is going to disappear. I, 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 I don't want to ask the chat, but I kind of want to. Okay, I... I mean, I'm not really that bothered if I fuck the story or the ending up. I didn't really want to fuck it up because I like to, you know, know the truth. What actually happened here? How this all started? I want to find out more about the church. Um... Cainhurst summons. And I'm going to be playing this game a hell of a lot. But I have a feeling I've played this backwards, like I've I've gone the wrong way. Maybe I've come to this area too early. Cainhurst summons. I have absolutely no idea what that is. I'm assuming it would have been on the inventory screen. Have I gone past it? Oh, it's there. It's a key. A summon inviting you to Canehurst. An old bloodstained summons inviting an honoured guest to the forsaken castle Canehurst. Rather baffingly, it is addressed to you. Not hesitate. Stagecoach leaves from Hemwick Crossing. Castle Canehurst is what the NPC, whose name I can't remember, was talking about when he did say it's very secretive, it's, I think, invitation only. And again, the tonsil stone, I guess that's what they must be called, tonsil stones, um... The ton tonsil stone really reminds me of the head of these aliens. But just like, if you could imagine when they've died and it's all shriveled. You know what, let's crack on. Um, I've got 35,000 blood echoes. I'm going to probably need around 21, 22k to level. I'm going to go and explore a little bit more, but... God, what a fucking fantastic game, man. I've killed Yosefka, the woman that saved me at the start. I say, I take that back actually, I got saved by those little messengers. Not Yosefka. At least not as far as I'm aware. See, I'm... Again, a little bit confused with the start now. I don't know if Yosefka is good or, again, if she was there as a decoy all along. Ah, oh, moonlit sense. How did you worm your way in here? Very unfortunate. I had such high hopes for you. That sounds like Yosefka, though. Well, I won't make any excuses. Would you mind leaving us alone? What the you know, fuck is happening? I'll do the rescuing, and I'll do the saving. But if you refuse to leave... But I'm going, I'm going, I'm scared, I'm leaving. But... 
Nazi shit. I I am I have no fucking idea what's going on. I am <laughs> So So is 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 that the real Yusefka who used a deco uh, Oh my god, I'm dying to fucking know what's happening here, but I can't. <laughs> I can't. Uh, um, I want to go up there so bad, but I'm scared. I'm scared I might do something. Fuck, man, this story on this game. I'm confused, but I want to know more. I want to learn about this place. What the fuck is going on? Maybe... I, I don't know. I'd, let's go. Oh man. See, the way I've tried to play Bloodborne is similar to the way I play the Dark Souls games where I read all of the descriptions for the items and I try and talk to NPCs. But one thing I've noticed with Bloodborne that's a little bit different to Dark Souls. The NPCs on Bloodborne don't really seem to have as much to say. So I always try and interrogate them, but the the lines seem to be exactly the same. Um, well, I don't know. Let, let's just go. Let's go. My god, honestly, if there's anyone in this chat that was on the fence about getting Bloodborne. Even if you don't like the Souls games, for the love of god, please. Do yourselves a favour. Get this game. Welcome home, god, I've not enjoyed a game for a long time what like this, honestly. Desire? Very well. Let the echoes become your strength. Let me stand close. Now shut your eyes. I'm gonna need around four... four K more. Just for another level. Okay. Farewell, good hunter. Well, let's go and quickly farm Arena these, and then we are gonna be good to go. You can have both the torch and pistol equipped. Um, I know, but I find it awkward just to switch between them, favourite. Plus, you can use the torch as a weapon on this game. So it's essentially like I'm kind of dual wielding. I want to practice. If I'm going to be farming a couple of, of souls, I want to practice parries. Just a few times. Ah, bastard. God, man, it feels so satisfying. I need to start parrying on Dark Souls. Although, I've got to say, and I don't know if any of you guys agree, because I rarely parry. It feels easier on Bloodborne to parry for me. It feels like you've got a lot more tolerance to get the timing. Yes, 
Right, I am definitely good for another level. God, look at the state of these guys. It's like I've said before, they still have, or it looks like they still have some of their humanity left. I mean, I don't know if these people know that they're, you know, being taken over by the Scourge. fluid answers. I thought you guys in the US use uh, pints when you go to the to the bar and pub. I thought when it comes to beers, or at least getting a beer in the US in a bar, you do it in pints? Welcome home, good hunter. What is it? Very well, let me... In fact, you know what? Let's just go and speak to the doll again. I don't think she'll have world. anything new to say. This section of the game feels like... Like a dream? I mean, I have no idea where I am. I feel like I'm disconnected from everything else. It feels like you're just floating in the middle of nowhere. I'm up somewhere in fucking Rapture. Or whatever the, the place was called on Bioshock Infinite. I love the way this game looks. Welcome, what is it? Hunters have told me about the church. About the gods and their love. But do the gods love their creations? I am a doll created by you humans. Would you ever think to love me? Of course. I do love you. Isn't that how you've made me? Oh, that's so adorable. Hunters have told me about about the god, but See, this is what I'm I talking about. Going back to my point you earlier. Ever think? Of course. I do love Usually you get a couple of different lines Farewell, from the NPCs, but it seems like once you've got one on this game, that's it. I still don't have any bloodstone chunks either. Okay, what about any new gems? Right, so, once I've just checked everything here, as far as I'm aware, the next area I'm going to be going to is the area with all of the bugs. I don't think I've missed... Oh, Nice! Yoink! Give me more of that delicious damage. Uh, yeah, I don't think I've missed any other areas. I mean, I'm hoping that I've got every boss so far as well. Right, so I'm going to go and get rid of the deep sea rune, and let's go and get the Kirill rune. Visceral attacks restore 200 HP. I don't know whether to be greedy here. Hold on a second. Which ones do I have? Deep sea. Lake. This one's empty. I'm tempted to get the one for more echoes. Just because I'm feeling a bit Jewish. Yeah, fuck it. Let's do it. Don't 
double love. God, that area is still so freaky. That was such a fantastic area. I kind of want to go back there. I feel like I've still not explored everything. I've got an elevator that I could use, but I can't activate it yet. Welcome back, Shawnee. Apparently there's no PC release of Injustice 2 because of the balls or that was Mortal Kombat X. I thought that was their decision to release Mortal Kombat X in that state though, wasn't it? It's one of the reasons I think the new Hitman game has done pretty poorly with the episodic bullshit. I said as soon as it came out, this could be a great Hitman game from what I've seen and I've heard it's meant to be fantastic. Problem is, I think people were a bit skeptical like myself. You know, where you're paying for a whole game but you don't know what you're actually going to be getting. design of this game. Full moon as well. Smoke weed every day. Desk jet, thanks for the follow. Yeah, I'm feeling a bit Jewish comic. Feeling a little bit bar mitzvah today. Too late, too late. Fortunately, I've got the Frenzy Rule. God, that helps a lot. Oh man, that helps a lot for the Frenzy. Good shit. I think I made a wise choice equipping that. Wow, really? There's only six levels in Season 1? Um, are they quite large levels? See, that's the thing I really like about Hitman games. They've got so much replayability, but I'm not really sure about six levels. That damage is insane. Oh, hold on a second. Wait a minute. I think I might be in the wrong area. I say the wrong area. I'm I've missed the area out with the little alien guys. Um, back in the... was it the Forbidden Forest? I don't know if any of you remember when I encountered the aliens for the first time. And I went up a little bit, and then I thought, I'm going to come back here after I've done the boss. I don't know whether I should do this section or go back and basically finish the forest. I'm kind of tempted to go back, but... Look at this place. Good God. Once I drop down, I don't think there's really any way back up. Um.
Let's go back and finish the forest. Hitman Abortion. I like Hitman Absolution. Absolution is probably the worst of the Hitman games, but it had some really interesting levels. They, they made some really weird design choices, though. Really fucking weird design choices. Okay, so... I think this is the way to go. Wait, hold on a second. No, it's not, is it? This brings me back to the lamp I've just left. Uh... Can anyone remind me which lamp to go to? Favourite, can you just remind me which one it is? Because I might be skipping these around a little bit. I know it's one of the wood or forest ones, but I can't remember exactly which one. I guess it's going to be the Forbidden Woods. Has to be. Right, thanks a lot for that. Take both elevators down. Um, right, so this elevator and then... I know what other elevator you're talking about, it's just I can't remember the location of it. I've got to say as well, I really like the cloth physics on this game. So silky. So smooth. I feel like I'm wearing velvet. Oh, was it the other lamp? I mean, if the other lamp was closer... Fucking Trizzle Dizzle with the tips. A little Twashian. What do you plan on doing then, Comic, when you finish your education? Are you going to be in, you know, art, or...? What's, what's the dealio? Right, so I'm not going to be heading that way. I'm going to be going back up on myself, and I guess... The elevator's got to be somewhere around here, or at least the way to go. Definitely not up here. This is another area I've not been to. My god, how big is this game?
Good God, man. Everywhere I go, there's something new. Blockwise metamorphosis. Raises HP. Okay. Oh wow, really? Is that all there is here? I think this might be the only thing then, I guess. I still feel like I'm not going the right way. Give me some more nitpicks and I can guarantee a picture of Martinique. <laughs> I don't think anyone here knows what Martinez actually looks like. He's a man of mystery. No one knows his real name. No one knows what he looks like. Favourite, am I heading the right way for the aliens? Because I swear I'm not. I swear I'm not. Unless I've got to go back and I've got to go past that book thing. Maybe I've gone the wrong way. Oh no, I am going the right way. Fucking hell. And back and forth like there's no tomorrow here. Okay, follow the water. Right, let's do it. Nice! God, it's like the gravestones around here have just grown. Oh, hold on a second. Is that it? Is this the area? I think it mm, might be. It's not, is it? I'm still at the wrong fucking area. <laughs> Why am I so shit at following directions? Good lord. I've been here before. Oh, right, no. Hold on a second. Now I know I'm in the right place. Right, I know exactly where I am. It's through here. Let's do it. Let's fucking go. Nice, there we go. Beautiful. Honestly, I don't know what I'd do without you guys sometimes. If there's ever going to be a patty con, I can guarantee that everyone's going to be getting a Happy Meal. And as a bonus, you guys could keep the toy. But I'm too fucking good, honestly. I'm too good to you guys sometimes.